Hello everyone, welcome to Radiology Case Review Series. In this video, we are going to look at images of a middle-aged patient who presented to the emergency department with right groin pain. Clinical team was concerned about inguinal hernia, so patient initially underwent ultrasound examination. On the ultrasound scene images, as I scroll down from superior to inferior direction, in the region of right groin, you can see a bowel loop herniating into the right inguinal region with surrounding fat. This bowel loop is blind ending in the inguinal region. This loop was not compressible, so imaging appearances potentially represents hernia containing appendix. To characterize this lesion further, patient underwent CT scan examination. On the CT examination, as I scroll down, so we have the ileocecal region, cecum, and then we have appendix which is herniating into the right inguinal hernia which is dilated with mild surrounding fat stranding without perforation or collection. These findings confirm that patient has right inguinal hernia containing appendix which is inflamed. We can see the same findings on the coronal reconstruction. So we have the cecum, so we have the appendix which is herniating into the right inguinal region dilated with surrounding fat stranding. Appearances are consistent with Amy Ann's hernia with appendicitis. This hernia is pretty rare. The incidence is less than 2% and appendicitis associated with Amy Ann's hernia is even rare. The preoperative diagnosis is not possible unless patient has undergone cross-sectional imaging. Clinical presentation is similar to strangulated inguinal hernia as we saw in our case. The differential diagnosis includes strangulated omentoseal since this is more common in pediatric patients. Other differential diagnoses would include rectus hernia, inguinal adenitis, and in male patients, testicular tumor with hemorrhage, acute hydrocele, epididymitis, or funiculitis. There is a classification system. I think our patient had type 2 with acute appendicitis, but without abdominal sepsis. So our patient underwent appendectomy with repair of the inguinal hernia. I hope you found this case to be interesting and informative. Thanks for your attention.